I'm trying to get this right, but Doris keeps um, moving my camera. So if it does move in the middle of this video, that would be why. It is officially spooky season. We've hit October. I absolutely love this time of year. And I just thought to kind of kickstart this era on my channel, I'm gonna be bringing you a food haul from Asda and Aldi. I took a little trip last night and I was so overwhelmed with all the goodies that you can find Halloween related and themed. So yeah, I've got a massive bag full of stuff here, as you can see. And we're just gonna dive in and just share all the things that I picked up because I was actually really, really impressed, especially with Aldi. Um, they've kind of really spooked up their normal confectionery range and I love that. So yeah, I love the fact that brands make that effort to kind of go with the times a little bit and just add a little bit of a special touch to their day-to-day -day sort of stock as well. But what I would love to show you guys first is my dog, Doris. We bought her a costume last night and it was the Count Dracula one from Asda. And I'll quickly insert a clip of what she currently looks like. She's wandering around the house right now with it on and it's so, so cute. It's really, really adorable. Um, we picked this one up in a size large and just because of the way her body is shaped, it fits her so kind of snugly. So this is Doris wearing her Count Dracula costume, which I picked up for £5 in Asda. Poor good girl but yeah look how beautiful she looks and her little outfit is so cute we've got this little cape at the back here if you can see um and yeah she's modeling it really really nicely um so yeah love that for her should we get you a little treat now let's go we're not really gonna go into this in any particular order but i will quickly show you guys this little mug here that josh picked up for me um i didn't know he actually picked this one up but he surprised me at the end of our little shopping trip yesterday it's basically just a halloween pumpkin sort of autumnal mug i feel like this is in the stacy solomon range because you've got quite a few like I would say beige mum Halloween sort of decoration in Asda at the moment. So if you are not really into like the tacky oranges and the traditional colours, then they have a lot of this sort of stuff in Asda at the moment. But yeah, I'm not sure how much this costs because again, like I said, Josh treated me to this because I don't actually have like a Halloween mug. I've got loads of little like tumbleware glasses and stuff like that, but not actually a mug like this. So I feel like I'm going to have to go and find a nice chocolate orangey hot chocolate to fill this up with. A bit of whipped cream and some goodies in there and that will be my Halloween little mug for the season. And so yeah, love that. Thank you, Josh. I love it. So yeah, let's get into the food then because there's quite a few to go through. Starting off with the ones from Aldi. Um, this one here is the Halloween Amazing Jinx Jelly Bean 10 Pack. Basically just jelly beans. I'm not really sure if they're like disgusting flavours or just normal jelly beans. So it's just in a little bit of a transformed way. So you've got orange, green, blacks. They've sort of just given them a little bit of a Halloween makeover with the colour in there. Um, but you don't really get a huge amount in there. Probably like the perfect portion for like a child, which makes sense because obviously Halloween is kind of based around children and that sort of thing. I'm going to give these a go actually because why not? They just taste like normal jelly beans but just with a different colour. So yeah, nothing too amazing about that to be honest but they are still good so for the next item in this little haul we've got the monster munch giants here as again halloween vibes they're all year round a good favorite of mine i love these so much and yeah just going for the pickled onion flavor because i love that the most and yeah these ones were found in asda so love that the next find that i found in aldi are these scarily sour flying saucers but as you can see here they've had like a spooky kind of makeover as well you've got the black and green colors inside we're going to open them up and see what they look like and see what they taste like they're double-sided hmm, very nice another find in aldi are these wicked witches ones so basically just strawberry laces with a little bit of a halloween makeover like i said I love that they've made the effort to do that. I just feel like it adds a nice little special touch to the Halloween season. Again, these are suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Obviously, if you guys didn't know, I'm vegetarian. So most of the stuff in here is going to be suitable for vegetarians, basically. And yeah, not really sure what the flavour is. Um, it doesn't actually say, but I'm assuming it's just kind of like a fruity kind of flavour like the strawberry laces are. In Asda, I actually found these five creepy cookies. So they're just green cookies with white chocolate pieces in them. And these ones were around £1.65, I think. So yeah, just cookies with a little bit of a Halloween makeover. Love that. And I bet they taste amazing as well. So I'm going to give those a little bit of a try in my food eating challenge, which I'm going to film later today. Next up, I found these ones in Asda. These are the Bibito Fizzy Fangs vegan sweets again they've kind of gone for a little bit of a diverse range in asda which i really appreciate you've got gluten-free dairy-free vegan halal there's all sorts of categories so if you are kind of um wanting to celebrate halloween but a little bit dubious on finding stuff that needs to kind of fit around your diet then asda is definitely a place to go because there's so many different variations of sweets and candy that you can find cakes all sorts like that love that again that they've made the effort to kind of accommodate for everyone and all the children so yeah and obviously with the fizzy fangs i've also picked up the babito gummy brains like this so again can't wait to give those a try in my 
video that I'm going to be filming today. And then moving on to something that I picked up in Asda, we've got these eerie chocolate eyeballs. Again, just couldn't resist this. It's just such a childhood favourite is having stuff like this on Halloween. You get 12 hollow chocolate milkshakes in these. And again, they're not like dairy free or anything, but they do have alternatives out there if you are dairy free and stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like these would be a nice little touch kind of like displayed on the table there. And then from Asda as well, I love the fact that they have little special touches like this because I feel like when I bake at Halloween, these are going to make this even more spectacular. So these are the edible slime and edible blood um, kind of like sauces to put on cupcakes or anything that you're baking and stuff like that. I feel like with a nice ice cream sundae I might drip this around the sides in my video today but yeah we'll see. There's definitely multiple ways you can use this and I think they were £1.25 each for that so it's not too expensive obviously depends on your budget and stuff. Also another find in Asda are these Jaffa Ween cake bars as you can see here. Um, they're just like a cherry flavoured version of the orange ones. I was going to get the orange ones but I just felt like I've had those so many times now so I thought I'd go for a different flavour just to see what they're like. I think they're around under two pounds each. Most of the Halloween stuff in Asda is under offer, like three for two and stuff like that. So definitely worth checking out if you wanna get your kids or you wanna treat yourself to any of this sort of stuff. Another item which I found quite similar to the strawberry laces in Aldi are the spooky spider webs. And these are blackberry flavored. So it's quite funny, the other ones don't actually say what flavor they are. It just says fizzy coated fruit flavored sugar confectionery. Wow, that was a lot to say. So yeah, these ones are the blackberry flavour. So I'm going to give those a little go just because I'm quite curious to see what they taste like because I've never tried a different flavour other than the strawberry ones. So let's give them a go. Again, these are vegan friendly, so really good. Mmm, they are really, really nice. Another little item which I picked up in Asda is this chocolate lolly. I think this was like 69p or something like that. Yeah, it's just like a pumpkin sort of shape there. But yeah, just thought I'd give that a little go, see what it was like. This one I found in Aldi. It's just the cutest size little pumpkin here. This one was actually 50p, which is quite pricey for a little pumpkin like this. But I just thought I'd give it a go, give it a little taste and see what it was all about. Because I've actually never tried pumpkin. I've never actually bought anything pumpkin spice before um which sounds crazy for someone who actually loves this time of year just never given it a go just never really been curious enough to try it but i feel like this year i might go out of my comfort zone and give it a go so yeah i might try this pumpkin for the first time in my life today and see how it goes down um i feel like is this a pumpkin or is it a squash let me know in the comments because there's definitely a difference between the two and they always sell like pumpkins but they're actually squashes so if it is a pumpkin let me know um but i feel like it's a squash just because you don't really get pumpkins that small but yeah let me know in the comment section below which one it is because i would love to know the next item which i picked up from aldi is the milk chocolate crisp menacing mouse again just what i give this a go and just because it was halloween themed just thought why not this one is actually vegetarian as well um inside you've got the creamy chocolate filling and crispy rice so yeah cannot wait to try that the last food item which i picked up is the toxic waste because again at halloween you just cannot say no to this this one is going to send my taste buds absolutely wild and I love these. It reminds me of my childhood so much. I used to love pranking my family with these sweets and just like pretending that they weren't actually sour and just offering them. Just love seeing their reaction to it. So yeah, these ones are just like an old school classic kind of trick or treat vibe that I love. Like my siblings used to enjoy these a lot and... I think eventually the more you eat these, the less you kind of find them sour. But yeah, I haven't had these for many, many years now. So I just thought when I was in Asda why not you know and then a few little homeware pieces minus the costume that i bought for doris i picked up this beetlejuice glass i love beetlejuice it's one of my favorite films to watch this one was three pounds i think this is the modern version of the films that is out in cinemas at the moment so yeah love that and i cannot wait to have my drinks that i'm going to show you guys soon in that and then i've also picked up these mini cauldrons these ones are three pounds you get six in them and i just thought it'd be a good way to kind of display little snacks or like i don't know mini puddings or skittles and stuff like that Maybe Maybe. I don't know just thought they're really cute and for three pounds just thought I couldn't resist it for some reason so yeah pick those ones up I didn't really go too crazy with the homeware stuff just because I have an attic full of boxes and boxes with Halloween stuff where I've had loads of Halloween parties in the past so I feel like I needed to kind of stay clear of buying too much homeware because I think Josh would kind of get a little bit upset with me if I bought any more but obviously Asda at the moment is full of Halloween decorations I can't say the same for Aldi there's like a few bits and bobs here and there but just not enough to kind of decorate your house with and one thing I haven't actually noticed at Asda they don't do the massive sculptures anymore anymore i remember going there as a child and see like the giant witches like interactive ones that you kind of walk past and they make you jump um so there wasn't really a lot of that which i've noticed this year so i don't really know why maybe they sell a lot of it online these days just because of the whole 
production and distribution side of it who knows but i feel like the shops are kind of like becoming less and less of that sort of stuff and more online which is a bit of a shame because i used to love it going to asda as a child and going to halloween aisle and just finding all these amazing things and like begging my mum to buy it she did sometimes but a lot of it was quite expensive so yeah i do miss that side of like shopping as a even as an adult to be honest with you because i love this time of year but yeah there's not really a lot of those stuff going on these days because i feel like everything's just online and that's just the way the world's going so yeah the next item which i have bought is the second to last item from this haul is the Fanta Afterlife Beetlejuice drink. Again, obviously, because the film's come out recently. Uh, so I just want to pick this one up just because, again, it's Fanta with a little bit of a Halloween makeover. So, yeah, cannot wait to give this a try. This one is the Apple Zero Sugar flavour. And I think these were on offer as well, like three for two or something like that. So if you're having a Halloween party, these would be a perfect touch to add onto your, like, drinks table. And then the last item which I picked up for this haul is the Sour Cherry... Um, kind of like juice drink sort of thing blood fives i was going for and i think in this little glass here fill it up with red which is kind of give it that halloween touch so i just thought i'd give this a go never actually tried sour cherry juice before really looking forward to giving this a try in my challenge video later today as well so yeah that is my bag officially empty i did also pick up a loaf of i think it's warburton's halloween bread i'll put a picture here of what it looks like but we've already started that and i just thought no purpose showing you guys half a loaf of bread so that's everything from this haul today let me know in the comment section down below if you have been to aldi or asda if you have any recommendations on any food stores where i can find halloween versions of day-to-day -day food let me know in the comments i know mns is really good for that it's personally one of my favorites but i thought this time i would try a different brand i haven't really done an asda food shop like this before because again i always go to mns for my halloween stuff but i feel like this time of year asda and aldi kind of bring out their food earlier whereas mns kind of bring out their halloween themed food kind of like one or two weeks before and as i'm filming this quite early in a month i feel like as the month goes on you'll probably be able to find more bits and bobs around in those stores so if you guys enjoyed watching this video today let me know in the comment section below which one of these items you would love to give a go and if you've tried any of these let me know as well that is it for today's video a little short one for me today which makes a big change because most of my videos lately have been like 25 minutes long so i thought i'd create a little short video for you guys to kind of check out i'm really excited to give these a go later on in my halloween eating challenge if you guys want to check out my food eating challenge that will be coming up in the next couple of days um depending on how quickly i kind of edit and turn this around so yeah if you guys enjoyed watching this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more from me and you want to see my food eating challenge coming up very soon and i will see you guys again in my next video bye